Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the back end of the series. We've gone over a lot of information, a lot of videos, your mindset, open houses, dealing with brokers, the pricing, the marketing. Today, we're gonna to be talking about selling. As much as I wanna say it, the, the home will sell itself, it doesn't. And the reason it doesn't is because there has to be an enthusiastic, energetic person behind there. Whether it's the broker, if you hire one, or you yourself, the homeowner. If you're not, and you just go like this, and you listen, I've been around plenty for sale by owners, and ironically enough, the, the people that sell their home the, be, the at the highest price and the fastest are the salespeople, the ones that are consummate sales professionals. This is the thing, is that we're in sales. We sell our ideas to our boss. We're in a job that has people underneath us. We sell our morals and our ethics to our children. We're selling ourselves if we're on an interview, selling yourself if we're on a date. If you don't like salespeople or you don't like selling in general, I'm sorry, you have to get over it. It was just literally a, a, a recent open house and the for sale by owner uh, was bringing me through the house. The house was gorgeous. It was on the Upper West Side. It was a one bedroom. He, he put in like $150,000. We were walking through it and halfway through, I looked at him, pretend his name is Pete. I said, Pete, I'm like, sell me like you just renovated this one bedroom. It was gorgeous. Marble and stone and it was just immaculately done. The guy was like, uh, here's the bathroom. I'm like, oh, here's the bathroom. I'm like, this is amazing. It's a pedestal sink. It's a floating tub. It's a rain shower from two different areas. I'm like separate area for a shower. I'm like, how, how are you not selling this? Just excited and he did the renovations you know it's one of those things where you're probably saying Charles I already know how to sell okay well you know that, that's fantastic then this is just a touch-up video number one is that you have to find out the reason they're actually looking to buy so when you meet them downstairs in the lobby or you grab a call or you are emailing back and forth you have to find out why they're buying is it a second home their primary residence are they using it as an investment are they putting their nanny there are they putting their parents there are they raising their kids are they coming from a small place why are they coming from a small place is it because someone up stairs just moved in and they have kids and it's too loud or there's there's vermin in their current place or there's bed bugs or they're far from transportation or they want to be closer to work or they're a single bachelor and they want to be in the area that's happening you have to find out why you're buying and the reason being is because if you sell them on the reason you bought but it's not the reason they're buying you're never gonna make a sale and if you make a sale it's not at the price that you may you could have gotten. So if you're working with The Bachelor, talk about the area and convenience and the shops, and the boutique, little restaurants they can go to, the, the wine bars, the coffee shops. If it's someone that's looking for the investment, talk how close it is to, the, to say, NYU. Rents are, they're just, they're just flying up. If, you're, if you have someone that is moving in there that's elderly, talk about, you know, it's, it's an elevator, it's quick, the doorman's great. You have to find out the reason and then you reverse engineer the actual reasons that they want to hear. Each buyer's totally different and the only way that you actually get there is through quality, quality questions. Why are you buying? Why, 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 why? Don't just accept it. Oh, I'm just buying because it's my first home. Okay, are you moving with a spouse or do you have a dog? Because there's a dog park over there. Get to know them. You have them talk 80% of the time. We have two ears, one mouth. For every two minutes you, you listen, you speak one minute. I'll just give you this, this, this corny little example you can either tell ask someone how's your day and that's wide open or you could say how great is your day name one thing today that you did that's amazing say it's an investment so what about this apartment do you think would would garner the most amount of money what about this par apartment you really like what about this apartment would you actually entertain if they're inter entertaining if they like to have friends over if they're a big cook look at the kitchen and say where would you set your pans up where would you set your pots up you know how would you be cooking steer the questions in the way of the way they're actually buying. Buyers don't like to be sold, they like to buy, but the thing is, they need the necessary nudge. When someone says, ah, I kinda like it, you know they're interested. You need to give them the necessary nudge, and that necessary nudge is usually a monologue about why it's gonna be beneficial for them, and why they're gonna love it, and the future think. So future think is essentially just saying, where would your furniture go? Who would you have entertained here? How exciting is it gonna be when this is continuously rented? How easy is the board? How low are the, the fees? You know, what's the cap rate? You have to give them that necessary nudge. You have to say, let's do it, let's move forward. And they're like, yeah, you know what, you're right. How many times have you bought something when someone said, just sign right here? Don't worry about it. You know, 10%, we'll get it. Just, just sign right here. You know, lean on the pen. <laughs> it's known as the necessary nudge. Quality questions. You're in sales. You need to sell it. Enthusiasm. It's your personality. I'm Charles Botenston, founder of Botenston Properties International. Have an awesome day. Let us know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.